What's up guys, in today's video we're gonna be talking about ketones, specifically the production of endogenous ketones. We're gonna save the topic of exogenous ketones, for example, uh, ketones that you would eat in a or consume out of a dietary supplement. Uh, we're gonna save that for another video in this upcoming series. Now, if you haven't been watching along in the series so far, I uh, highly recommend going and checking out the playlist on this channel called the Keto Exploration Playlist. So what we're doing is exploring the ketogenic diet and the validity of it slash, uh, you know, figuring out the recommendation. Should you or should you not be using the ketogenic diet? Today, like I said, we're gonna be discussing uh, ketogenesis in general, which is the production of ketones in the human body and what that entails. So you, how do you even get into ketosis and uh, is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? Now, in the first video in the series, we looked at the science behind the keto diet uh, and we came to the conclusion that, that a glucose metabolism is better if we are uh, looking at the specific purposes of one, hormonal balance and two, actually having a healthy and fast metabolism. So today with respect to ketogenesis, let's dive straight into this topic. Now, the first thing that I want you to understand today is that the current world of keto education can be super confusing if you're perusing through blogs, videos, and even PubMed. Now, everyone, even the researchers, seems to have a different opinion, which kind of sucks when you're searching for the truth, right? So today I'm gonna to keep things super simple because in the words of Leonardo da Vinci, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. I wanna make sure that you, the viewer, don't just grasp some simple facts, but you're also able to talk about the subject intelligently in a conversation that will inevitably come up with your friends. So first off, what is ketogenesis? Ketogenesis is simply the production of ketone bodies by the breakdown of fatty acids and ketogenic amino acids. Now what is a ketone? The liver is responsible for making sure that the body, especially the brain and the heart, have access to a sufficient supply of energy from the blood. Now to fulfill that responsibility, it manufactures two energy substrates, glucose and ketones, and exports them into the blood as needed. The most important ketones are acetoacetic acid and beta-hydroxybutyric acid. Now, ketones are water-soluble small molecules, and they diffuse through the body into cells and are taken up by mitochondria and oxidized for energy. Now, let's look at how ketogenesis occurs. Now, the human body prefers a glucose metabolism as a primary energy system, where fatty acid metabolism is considered secondary, reserved for survival situations. Now, while forced ketogenesis has been shown to have some great therapeutic effects in controlling epilepsy, this specific case cannot be assumed healthy across the board, especially since even others therapeutic related keto diet research shows conflicting evidence. For example, some studies show improvements in cancer control with the keto diet, while others show an increase in tumor growth, which we'll get into more detail later in this video series. Now, in order to flip the survival switch from glucose to a fatty acid metabolism, the body requires a shift in the catecholamine response. Therefore, a cortisol increase, the body's chief stress hormone. Ketosis is inherently stressful on the body. It is, after all, a survival system designed to preserve your physical body, not necessarily allow it to thrive. And like I just mentioned, there can be therapeutic benefits of ketosis, and these are reserved for special cases where the human body is already deep into a disease state and does not in any way show any evidence for a chronic lifestyle-oriented ketogenic diet practice. Beyond the fact that the previous video we demonstrated via the Bohr and Haldane effects in the Randall cycle that a fatty acid metabolism actually down-regulates energy metabolism by decreasing CO2 production in a negative loop, this shift in catecholamines also damages the thyroid gland. Now the thyroid is chiefly responsible for controlling some of the most important hormonal and metabolic processes in your body. Low thyroid hormone levels are also inextricably linked to low androgen production, which leads to not just a poor sexual and reproductive function, but also other common symptoms such as anxiety, depression, brain fog, insomnia, fat gain, and muscle wasting. So if this ketone metabolism damages your thyroid, by chronically increasing adrenaline, noradrenaline, 
and cortisol also suppressing testosterone and other steroid hormone production, then how come people swear by it? Why did they claim to experience such incredible feelings and quote results during the first one to three months on the keto diet? Well, I'm glad you asked because funny enough, the increase in fight or flight response is precisely why they feel an increase in acute focus, energy, weight loss, and so forth. They're actually putting their body into survival mode and it's compensating by heightening their awareness, not to mention a large scale water flushing that gives the impression of quick and easy weight loss and that makes the individual actually feel lighter. This is a well-known period known as the catecholamine honeymoon. So what's the problem, you might be asking? Well, you can't rely on an amplification of stress hormones forever. Like I mentioned a minute ago, the heightened stress response eventually starts destroying thyroid function and ravaging your steroid hormone production. It's a unanimously accepted fact that chronically elevated cortisol levels chronically suppress testosterone production. This is also why many prolonged keto dieters eventually lose all libido and desire for sex, not to mention experience erectile dysfunction in men. So yeah, stress is not good for your goals, which are, again to reiterate, hormonal balance and a fast metabolism. So it looks like another strike against the keto diet. Now in the next video in this series, I want to take a really interesting look at antioxidant production, specifically glutathione. And I wanna show you how important it truly is for bodily harmony and how all of this ties back to some of the danger involved in a long-term ketogenic diet practice. If you're enjoying this ketogenic diet exploration, then subscribe to this channel and follow along with the keto exploration playlist. As always, I wanna keep things super, super simple for people, so I put together a grocery list it's called 30 man foods. So if you're a guy and you're wondering after all this information exactly what you should be eating on a daily basis, then go to 30manfoods.com and download that right now. Like I said, it's completely complimentary, free. Uh, just send your email, I'll send you an email with the list. You can download it to your phone, you can print it out and bring it to the grocery store with you and it will take all the guesswork out of it. It's 100% based on research and it's going to fuel a healthy uh, metabolic rate and a healthy hormonal balance. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this and check out the ketogenic playlist, uh, then subscribe to this channel and I will see you on the next video.